Hello, my name is Derek Baker, Recreation Supervisor for the City of Inglewood, Parks, Recreation and Community Services. Today we're going to do a workout, our leg workout, that's going to help improve your flexibility and strengthen your leg muscles of the glutes, uh, hamstrings, and quadriceps. These are easy exercises that you can do at home without um, any kind of workout equipment. So for our first exercise, we're going to do a wide leg squat. You want to make sure you position yourself with your feet about shoulders width apart or a little bit outside your shoulders. Feet are flat on the floor. Have your ribs tall, back is straight, hips are engaged. You're going to keep your torso, also your abs engaged as you do, as you lower yourself, making sure you keep your knees from going past your toes. You take a squat, go as deep as you can feel comfortable, squeeze the glutes, thrust the hips forward as you come up for your squat. You're going to do this two sets of 10. Two, three, four. Make sure you maintain breathing. Five, six. Keep your core engaged. Seven. Make sure you're driving your glutes back. Eight, nine, and ten. You may notice that your feet will rock back and forth. You want to try to make sure you keep your feet planted. If anything, put your weight onto the heels. Um, allow your, do not go up onto your toes because that will rotate you forward. You could easily fall. Um, if you want to use a chair or something to help you balance, you can put a chair in front of you and use that as your balance to keep you from falling either forward or back. We're gonna do our second set now, second set of 10. Ready? Let's begin. One, two, and remember you can go down as far as you want, three, make sure you're able to maintain your balance, keep your core engaged, four, five, six, seven, you should feel this in your glutes, thighs, and hamstrings. You're gonna do two more. Last one, and 10. That exercise is your wide leg squat, wide leg squat. All right, for our second exercise, for our next exercise, we're going to do a one arm deadlift and we're gonna also add a calf raise at the same time, all right? So you wanna grab yourself a weight, you can possibly use maybe a gallon of milk, uh, maybe a detergent bottle, one of those heavy detergent bottles, or something that can substitute as a weight. I'm gonna be using a dumbbell, all right? We're gonna start with our right hand first. We're gonna get back into our squat position down low to grab our dumbbell, and we're gonna come up, squeezing the glutes, come up to the top, and then at the end of the lift, come up to our toes for a calf raise. Go back down and repeat the exercise five times on the right side, five times with your left side. So this will be number three. Four, five, switch hands, one, two, three, four, five. Set it down, take your rest. It's very important that you maintain your breathing. Uh, we try to emphasize breathing on the exertion of the, of the lift, so on your coming up. You also wanna make sure that you're staying hydrated as well, so if you wanna take a quick drink, you can do that as well right now. <clears throat> We're gonna go back to our right hand. So our next exercise, let me start the same exercise on the right side now. Feet are a little bit shoulder outside, I mean a little bit outside your shoulders. Grab your weight, feet are flat. Come up, calf raise, one, two, Three, make sure you're engaging the hips, drive the hips through. Four, to come up tall, get your ribs high. Five, switch hands. One. Two. Three. Four, make sure you're not going past your toes. And five. 
that exercise there is the one arm deadlift with calf raise. Repeat the exercise two to 10 times. For every exercise, we can move on to our next one. Okay, for our next exercise, we're gonna do a reverse lunge with knee lift, okay? Um, if you need something to uh, balance you for this exercise, as I'll, as I'll show you on the second set, you'll be able to use the wall. But for right now, you wanna make sure that you have your feet uh, positioned with your feet inside, the, inside your shoulders, right about shoulders width apart. Um, you're gonna keep yourself balanced in the middle and you're gonna take a reverse step backwards. We're gonna lead with our right leg first. Okay, we're gonna take a step back with our right leg and keep ourselves engaged in the middle. Keep your abs engaged as well. So we're gonna take one step back, we're gonna transfer our weight to our left side, take the step back into our lunge, come down, making sure the knee does not go past the toes, we're right in the middle. You're gonna come back up, and as we come back up, bring the knee up for a, for a knee lift, all right? So let's try this again. We're gonna do this for five, five reps for the right leg, five reps for the left leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna change, here we go, straight in. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the beginning, that's the end of our first set. Again, we're gonna do two sets of 10. I'm gonna show you how to do this just in case you have a little bit of trouble with your balance. If your core and your hips aren't as um, able to handle it, we're actually gonna to go to our wall to do our second set. Make sure you have something sturdy, either a wall or maybe a chair, something that you can use to balance yourself. <clears throat> the leg that you're gonna be lifting is gonna be the side that, is that you're balancing yourself on. So since I'm using the wall on my right side, I'm gonna raise my right knee up when I do my lunge. I'm gonna lead it back with the right, bring the knee in the lunge also on my right side. All right, ready? We're gonna do a set of five on this side and then switch it to the other side. Here we go. We're gonna lead with our right leg going back. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, good, I'm gonna switch to the other side. Once again, I'm gonna lead with the left leg this time. Left leg going back first. There you go. One. Two. Three. Four. And five, good. That's our second set that completes our, <clears throat> excuse me, reverse lunge with knee lift exercise. Make sure you get yourself some water, towel down a little bit. We're gonna to go to our next exercise. Okay, for this exercise, we're going to do the single leg hip thrust. Um, this exercise is gonna work on your glutes. Um, again, we're gonna be engaged in our abs. We're also gonna be using our hip flexors um, and a static motion to keep our leg up. So you're gonna get yourself a space, um, a flat space that you can lay on. I'm gonna lay on my back here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna make sure my back is flat on the ground as well as my feet are flat on the ground as well. I'm gonna position my hands palm down on the floor for support. I'm gonna raise off uh, for this first set, my right leg, straighten it and raise it with my toes pointed up towards the ceiling and I'm going to thrust my feet from my left leg into the ground and push my hips towards the ceiling, like so. I'm gonna make a diagonal line from shoulder to toes. I'm gonna do this five times on this leg, then switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, Five. Gonna switch to the other side. Same thing. One. Two. Make sure to thrust your hips forward, going to the ceiling. Three. Four. Five. We're gonna rest for a bit. Um, sometimes you can actually do what we call active recovery. 
where you'll actually exercise another muscle group at the same time or while you're resting, while you're recovering from your other exercise, whether it be maybe doing some lunges, I mean some, uh, some crunches, or if you want to sit up and do some um, bicep curls or something, just something to keep you active while your body's recovering from your other exercise. All right, we're going to move into our second set. This time we're going to start with our left leg. Left leg is up. You're going to thrust the hips. One, two, three, four, five. Switch it up. Right leg is up. One, two. Really extend that leg, really pushing it up. Three, four, and five. And that completes our single leg hip thrust exercise. Okay, for our next exercise, we're gonna concentrate on our calf muscles. I want you to try to find um, a uh, substitute for your weight in the house, maybe get a backpack that you can fill up with some books or shoes or something that you can put inside of it. Um, you're gonna go and grab yourself some weights, maybe two, uh, two pound, I mean 10 pound weights. You're gonna stand with your weights on the side. We're gonna do two different styles here. One is gonna be with our feet pointed out like so. So our toes are gonna point it out. Toes are gonna be pointed out. And we're gonna raise ourselves up onto our toes, hold for about two seconds and come back down. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four. Make sure you're keeping your legs straight. Five, raise up as high as you can on your toes. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna rest up for a little bit, maybe shake it out. Get a little stretch in there, you should feel a nice little feel, a nice little burn in your calf muscle. This time we're gonna turn our feet inside where the toes are pointing in. All right, same situation, we're trying to push up to the toes. We're gonna do this same thing for a set of ten. Ready? Begin. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And you can challenge yourself with the amount of weight that you want to use. Again, you can put some weights in a backpack. You can grab something, maybe a um, pillowcase full of books. Just something that you can use as your weights when you do this exercise. So this is just a standard calf raise exercise, two different angles with your feet. Now we're gonna move on to our next exercise. Okay, for our next exercise, we're gonna do the side lunge. This is just like the reverse lunge that we did, but instead of us stepping backwards, we're gonna be stepping to our right and to our left. We still wanna maintain our positioning with our knee, make sure it does not go past the toes, you should be able to see your toes and your knee and align. You should not be able to hide your toes with your knee when you take your step out from either side. You're gonna keep your midriff engaged as well when you do this. We're gonna go side to side. We're gonna end up doing five this way as we rotate and five this way as we rotate. We're gonna go to 10. Ready, here we go, stepping to the right. One. You can get as deep as you can, it feels comfortable. Three. Four. Five, sitting your butt down. Six. Seven. Eight, you still flex or a stretch in your groin area. Nine. And 10, that'll be our first set. Now you can actually intensify this workout once again by adding weights to it. Maybe again, putting on a backpack or something that can like weight you down. Um, but remember to keep your core engaged so that you don't lose your balance. Um, if you need something to assist you, you can actually grab something like a chair or maybe a wall as you do your side lunge as well. Some individuals will actually put themselves up against the wall with their back against the wall and do it so if they fall back, they have a wall to balance them. Okay, on this one, we're gonna start actually going to our left first. Here we go. One, 
Make sure you thrust, push that foot into the ground to get you back up to your stand-up position. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six, try to keep your weight back. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So that is our side lunge. Another exercise to help with your flexibility and to strengthen your quads, hamstrings, and hips. Um, hope you enjoyed this workout video. Please look for us on social media and see the rest of our videos that we have, a video series that we have. Again, my name is Derek Baker from the City of Inglewood Parks and Recreation and Community Services. See you next time.